part of the Rialto Unified School District strategic plan states that we will have a culture of high expectations that prepares all students to compete with their peers globally and that every student will achieve success in his or her chosen life endeavors. The Early College Program is helping to give students those tools for success. Today on Bridge Podcast, we welcome two guests to talk about the Early College Program, where it has been and where it's going. Let's welcome our guest, Anahi Velasco, a former RUSD student and current Director of Communication and Community Engagement for Moreno Valley Unified School District and Dr. Edward D'Souza, the RUSD's lead academic agent, MAP, and Early College Programs. Thank you so much, Anahi Velasco, for being here. Of course, Eisenhower High School graduate 2012, Legacy of Excellence. Appreciate you being here. And thank you, Dr. D'Souza, for being here. I want to get into what exactly is the Early College Program. So the Early College Program is students on each of our high school campuses taking four regular high school courses. And then for their fifth and sixth period, they would be taking college classes on campus taught by a college professors. Now, what is your role, Dr. D'Souza, in the program? So my role basically was setting up setting up the program, making sure that we look at all gaps, you know, make sure that everything is there for kids to be successful and that this program is also available for all students. We're not just talking about high students. We're talking about all students in, the, in on each of the high school campuses. Okay, and let us age ourselves because, Anahi, you, of course, are a graduate of the Rialto Unified School District, doing great things, being the Community Engagement and Communications Director at Moreno Univ- uh, Moreno. Unified School District, Myrna Valley Unified School District. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience as a student at the Rialto Unified School District and then a little bit about the early college program and where you fit into this? So I had an incredible experience with the program. At that time, it was called the Valley College Program at Eisenhower. And so we were taking classes between second and third period. And so We had regular full-time classes at the high school. Then we would head over to college, and then we would come back to school and finish off. But I really wanted to maximize the opportunity that I had to take more college courses. So Mm -hmm. I would still somehow work it out to go back to the college and take additional courses. So for me, I just saw this as something that I really couldn't pass up, and I wanted to make sure that that I just utilize all the resources available to me as a student at Eisenhower. So let's back up. So in two th- when you were a senior, did you do this, or a junior? No, I was a sophomore. So you were a sophomore. Okay, yeah. so you were a sophomore, and when you graduated from Eisenhower High School, you had an AA. Practically, yes. I okay. had over 60 units at the community college level. And so this obviously made it very easy for you, right? Yes. So how was your experience at, upon graduating high school? So I was able to go into Cal State Fullerton as a junior for the first semester, and then automatically I was considered a senior because I was able to take even more during the summer after I graduated. Mm -hmm. And so it just quickly allowed me to take those classes that I really wanted to do And I didn't have to do any of the general education ones anymore. Excellent. Wow. So it just speeds up the process for you. Yes. And so, Dr. D'Souza, you are very much here at that time as well. And can you tell us, for students who are watching now, if they want to have the same sort of experience or they want to get into the early college programs, what are the steps the parents have to take? So currently we have 42 I get C credits, which are the intersegmental general education transferable credits that... Uh, she had that Mm -hmm. she was able to start as a junior. She got 60 credits because she took extra classes in the summer. Uh We also are offering kids if they want to take extra courses in the summer that would be available. But basically all kids will be leaving with 42 transferable credits that they would be able to use at any CSU or UC, which will help them to move faster in their class that they would start as either sophomore, second semester, or juniors. So how are we implementing, or have we started the process in the Rialto Unified School District as implementing the early college program? So right now we have all our middle school kids are taking tours at colleges, so they understand more about the college process. Valley College has been really great in getting our kids there to watch, look at their campus, learn more about the program. So we're having those field trips. We'll be having parent communication nights on November 8th and 9th. And we also uh, made a PowerPoint so all our counselors at the middle school and our principals are familiar because 
they do their four year plans at the middle school so we wanted to, them to know earlier because I think you got it in the sophomore year but we want parents to know at an early age what is possible and so this year even at the college fair we had middle school students come in the evening time so they learned more about college okay so i'm going to jump back to anhi because of course going through this procedure of of the early college program a little bit we were tweaking it a little bit differently but how did you balance your classes your schedules your because i think parents want to know that as well families would like to know that as well as the students was it easier to balance was it once you got into your rhythm it was it became easier or what were the challenges that you could probably share with our students who might be interested in this early college program so one of the challenges was that i didn't have an actual counselor the same as high school so I had the ability to create my own schedule. I was able to search whatever it is that I wanted to learn as long as it was uh, through the IGETC because that's you know how it's gonna transfer to the, to the UC or Cal State that I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. And so through that, I prioritized that because again, I had transportation provided by the Rialto Unified School District. So I took advantage of that. But if there were other classes that I couldn't take because I was in high school courses, then that's when I, um, I asked my mom or my dad or anyone in my family members if they can assist me with the transportation again just to maximize that opportunity because I just think it's an incredible way for me to get exposure honestly because of that program I'm sorry I'm gonna get emotional take your time <laughs> Because of that program, I learned my love for communications. That was when I took my first communication course, and I just loved it. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I wanted to learn more. Excellent. And obviously, you're doing great things with it, making the rest of us cry and get emotional. <laughs> but obviously, you're doing wonderful things with it because you are now um, a communications director and a community engagement leader in Moreno Unified School District, Moreno Valley Unified School District. And additionally, can you tell us the degrees that you do hold currently? So I received my bachelor's degree in communications with a concentration in public relations. And I also received a, um, well, I double majored. I was able to double major, minor, and earn a certificate. Again, wow. all because I had that extra push, that extra leg up through the Valley College program. So I, the second major was television and cinematic arts. The minor was, I don't remember anymore. Okay. <laughs> There's so many degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? You have so much knowledge and so much education, <laughs> so much certificates. You're thinking, what do I have? Yeah. So I, I want to jump back real quickly to Dr. D'Souza. Very emotional and very sincere. She found her love for what she wanted to do because of, and she, you attribute it to the fact that you had an early start yeah. uh, in your sophomore year at Eisenhower High School, starting with this. Do you feel that other students have the same opportunity and why? So I think a couple of things have changed and we've learned as we've gone. So the district, basically, our default curriculum is A through G. So at the time she went, there was basically district requirements and college requirements. The college requirements now have become district requirements, except for PE, which is required by law for graduation. Right. So what the kids are taking at the college will count towards their high school graduation. And yes, there is a communication class that they get English credit for it. And so there's six different areas which match with our A through G. And so I've tried to match the classes so that the kids would be able to get uh, weighted credit like an AP class in those areas. So that's the other benefit for taking those early college programs because most of them are weighted credit classes. Thank you, Dr. D'Souza. And so I really want to quickly also ask Anhi, we talked about Eisenhower High School, your love for communication, what you found because of your version of the early college program back then. Where else did you, where else did you go to school in the Rialto Unified School District? So I started at Dunn Elementary School and then I went to Cobe. But at Dunn, my kindergarten teacher, the very first teacher that I had, she was always talking about college. So she instilled that mindset. And for me, that became just something that I was going to have to do. I didn't even know that you were going to have to apply and do all these other things. It just became something natural because she instilled that mindset at kindergarten. So really. Who was your teacher at kindergarten? Do you remember her name? Yes. Uh, her name, well, now it's Miss King. Miss what? Miss King. Ms. Melissa King. Melissa at King. At that time, she was Miss. 
I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> she it's got okay. married Miss after King. So I, She'll know, yeah, okay. Miss King. So she, in kindergarten, she's telling you how important college is. Yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. So you already had an idea. Yep. And then what about at Kolb? And then at Kobe, I also had uh, counselors that would walk into our classrooms and they would talk about just different things. Again, just preparing for high school, but also considering that uh, college was going to be the next step. So it was just a continuous process that for me, I felt like it was no question about it. I was going to go to college. Graduating from Cal State Fullerton in mm -hmm. 2016, where did your career go from there after graduation? So attributing everything to, again, the early college program, mm -hmm. I was able to take the courses and everything to the point where I was able to balance my classes and I was hired full time at Laguna Beach Unified School District before I graduated college. So after I graduated college, I continued working there. And from there, I just kept on working at um, different school districts in the communication field. Excellent. Dr. D'Souza, for parents watching, for students watching, is this something that we start at middle school? Is this a the, the early college program? Where When are we implementing it? And how can parents get involved? Do they talk directly to the principals? Do they doc, talk directly to the counselors? What is the communication involved in that? So basically, th this year's eighth graders at the middle school will be taking courses, uh, one course their second semester of their ninth grade year. And it's basically the staff development class. So they learn all about college. They learn how to use Canva, all those things that are tools for college. And so they'll be taking the second semester. They learn more about the program on November 8th and 9th as a parent informational night. And we also done presentations at each of the middle schools in the social studies classes so kids can ask questions. I've also done presentations at the colleges where the kids are there for field trips so they learn more about it. So that's how we want the kids excited about it. And like uh, the lady said, um, that she loved, uh, it made a big difference in her life. A lot of our students don't know about college and this experience will help them and open doors for them. Thank you, Dr. D'Souza. I appreciate that. Nanahi, I really want to mention that you have a sister, Marisol Velasco. And Marisol was a student board member. And how is she doing? She is doing great. She's working at CASA. So she's always wanted to work with foster kids. And that's what she's doing now. She's a supervisor for volunteers and um, just does a lot with that program. Excellent. And of course, you are all in the Rialto Unified School District community. So you all live in, Real in the city of Rialto. Yes. That's awesome. And tell me what you like to do in your spare time, because I know firsthand as a communications director, as a communications leader in any school district, the hours are can be demanding. But what do you like to do when you're kind of relaxed a little bit? I love spending time with my daughter and my family. So she just takes all the stress away and just makes everything better. Excellent. And would you, if you were to talk to the parents that are watching, the families that are watching this podcast right now, would you recommend the early college program for their children and why? Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times, yes. Um, not only did it help financially, but again, it, it helped me explore the major that I wanted to learn. It helped me understand that I can learn more than one uh, thing because people kept on asking me to stick to one thing. And I said, I want to learn more. So really, it was an opportunity to to take advantage just in all in all ways possible. Excellent. And my last question for you, Dr. D'Souza, she mentioned something that was very important, the cost. What is the cost for the early college program? So it's free for our students. So they get their books, they, no tuition has to be paid. And basically even the credits are free. So they are able to take those and transfer it to colleges. Excellent. And as you were talking, of course, we had a link at the bottom that lets our parents know who they can contact if they're interested in the early college program for students. And we are actually putting a web page together so they can go to that web page, which will have all the information. Okay, thank you so Thanks. much. I want to thank you both for being here. Anahi, good luck. Always keep in touch with your school district. We, we are so, so proud of you. So we appreciate your being here, Anahi. And thank you, Dr. D'Souza, for being here and for doing everything that you do for the early college program. Thank you. You're welcome. And we want to thank you for joining us on The Bridge Podcast. Until next time, I'm Saida Joffrey. We hope to see you soon. Thank you.